Hello and welcome. Under Maryland state law, House Bill 270, enacted in 2017, titled Testing for Lead in Drinking Water, Public and Non-Public Schools, schools are required to periodically test the water from their drinking water outlets for lead and take appropriate remedial measures if the analysis of the testing indicates an elevated lead result at a drinking water outlet. In this video, we will be discussing the necessary actions to take after you have received a laboratory report with an elevated lead result at an outlet. As a reminder, per current Maryland law, an elevated level of lead means the lead concentration in drinking water exceeds five parts per billion. In other words, greater than or equal to 5.5 parts per billion. Please see MDE's video titled, What is Considered an Elevated Lead in Drinking Water Test Result? for more information. Throughout this video, please pay close attention to the timeframes for each task, as some are based on calendar days and some are based on school days. First, the most immediate action your school will need to take is to close off access to any drinking water outlets with an elevated lead result within 24 hours of receiving the laboratory report. However, if the outlet is not used for consumption by students or staff, then you may instead post appropriate do not use for drinking or hand washing only signage at that outlet. In most cases, signage may not be posted at consumption outlets such as drinking water fountains and bottle filler stations. However, there are some exceptions, including consumption outlets only accessible to school staff and or critical outlets. Please see MDE's Rules and Example Signage for Outlets document on our website or linked in the description below for details regarding when and where to appropriately post signage. The next step is to collect a flush sample from each outlet with an elevated lead result within five school days of receiving the lab report. If appropriate permanent signage is posted at a non-consumption outlet, the collection of a flush sample is not necessary and remediation is not required. MDE recommends that schools keep extra sample bottles on hand, so in the event that an elevated level of lead is reported by the laboratory, the school may collect a flush sample as soon as possible from the affected outlet and, ideally, prior to closing access to the affected outlet. If access to an outlet is closed before the flush sample is collected, MDE recommends daily flushing of the outlet prior to collecting the flush sample. This is particularly important in cases when there is an extended period of time between when access to the outlet is closed and the flush sample is collected. As a reminder, sample bottles must be submitted to a state-certified lab within 14 calendar days of sample collection. The list of Maryland State Certified Laboratories can be found on our website or see the link in the description below. For additional information regarding flush sample collection, please view Part 7 of MDE's video titled How to Collect Lead in Drinking Water Samples, linked in the video description below. Flush samples represent water use conditions throughout the school day and can provide additional information for schools. A flush sample may help schools to determine if an outlet is showing an elevated level of lead because of an issue with the outlet itself or if it is an issue in the plumbing upstream from the outlet. A flush sample may also help inform you of the best course of action for remediation for an outlet. Please note, even if a flush sample does not have an elevated level of lead, the school will still need to perform remediation on the outlet since the first draw result was elevated. All sample results from your school's standard or routine testing event must be reported to MDE, Maryland State Department of Education, and your local health department within 30 calendar days of the sample being analyzed by the laboratory. Additionally, all elevated lead sample results from your school's standard or routine testing event must be reported to the Maryland Department of Health. In your submission, please include 
the sample collection form, laboratory results reporting form, also referred to as the EDD, and the official laboratory report signed by the laboratory director and the laboratory chain of custody form. The sample collection form and EDD can be found on MDE's website. A notification of the elevated lead sample results must be sent out to parents or legal guardians, teachers, and other school staff within 10 school days of receiving the laboratory report with elevated levels of lead. A template of a notice can be found on MDE's website. The notice must also be posted on the school's website within 30 school days of receiving the lab report with elevated levels of lead. If your school does not have a website, please indicate this on the Certification of Elevated Lead Sample Result Notice Form. The Certification of Elevated Lead Sample Result Notice Form must be submitted to MDE and MSDE within 30 calendar days of sending notification of elevated levels of lead. Please attach a copy of the notice sent out to the school community when submitting the certification form to MDE. For more information about the certification of elevated lead sample result notice form and the elevated lead sample result notice, please see MDE's video on our website or linked in the description below. The last step prior to performing any remedial actions is to submit a remedial plan of action form to MDE and MSDE within 30 school days of receiving the laboratory report of first draw testing indicated elevated levels of lead in the drinking water outlets. If you choose to post appropriate permanent signage at a non-consumption outlet, this must also be documented on the Remedial Plan of Action form, even though remediation is not required for these outlets. The Remedial Plan of Action form can be found using the link in the description below or on our website. Please submit all documentation to MDE to testresults.leadschoolwater at maryland.gov. To submit documentation to MSDE, MDH, and or your local health department, please see the list of contacts on our website or linked in the description below. For more information, please visit our website linked in the video description below or contact us at reporting.leadschoolwater at maryland.gov. Thank you.